Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebelica and this is the 100 Baby Challenge and we are on to part 98. So, um, yeah, our last episode ended kind of abruptly because um, basically the whole screen froze. Nothing was, not the screen, but the Sims, they all froze. They were just standing there doing nothing. So, um, so yeah, so we're trying to get... Um, it's 5.09 a.m., so I'm trying to get the children ready for school. Uh, I'm really hoping that Daikon will age up and or will, will get an A so that we can age him up to a teenager. And um, and hopefully Enchilada will get up to a B. And um, also we have our two infants who are now toddlers, the twins. And we have Haggis, who is an infant who's very close to actually to be being able to age up and we have Ichigo who is also an infant at this point but she has only just aged up. So we have a full household and uh, once the um, Daikon and maybe even Enchilada I'm not sure how quick that will be but once they are able to um, once they are, are able to leave age up and leave then then we will be able to get pregnant again. <laughs> so um, so right now, uh, oh, I'm also very close to finishing, um, Olivia's, uh, aspiration. So there's that too. I also want to see if I can finish, um, uh, Daikon's aspiration. I think he just needs to get like, uh, top score in the type, in the typing game in order to get it. Um, I think, oh, oh, no, he also has to do the monkey bar three times, so he's already done one, and we're working on that right now. We'll probably have to do the typing one when he gets home from school, though. So, I knew I had sent him to do this, but, uh, that was when my, my, uh, game froze, and so I guess he didn't make it across before then. He's doing pretty good right now, though, but we definitely won't get time to do typing before he has to go to school. But he has high confidence, so that's good. And so hopefully this is it. Oh, um, Haggis disliked smashed lemon. So I guess he was trying food for the, the, the first time. So that's good. All right, now we just have the typing game to do. But I also told him to go to sleep, so he's going to sleep for a little bit before he goes to school because he's pretty tired. And so Haggis has tried one food, so we're going to try giving him some other ones. Oh, Enchilada has reached motor level 10. Good job. I don't often have the children get level 10 of any skill. So uh, since no one else is using the computer right now and, and um, Quinn has things under control, Olivia is going to... Um, spend some time on the computer. She's very close to finishing her aspiration. Oh, he disliked the uh, carrots as well. That's two foods he didn't like. Okay, school starts in an hour. Cat Lord, Cat Council. Okay. A lot of the titles for books are based off of real titles but I have no idea what that one's based off of. <laughs> All right, so how are you doing? Oh yeah, so the, the, the toddlers are actually very close to being able to age up. Um, as much as I dislike that the infants added more days that you have to like, there, it's five, it takes five days to get all of the milestones usually, but it speeds up the infants a little bit because you usually get at least I usually get at least three skills. Some occasionally I've only gotten two, and once I got four. So, oh, and and Chilada finished his aspiration. I didn't realize that was all he had left to do was to bike around for a little bit. All right, well that's good. Now, um. So let's pick a new aspiration then for him. And um, I just rolled a dice. And what I ended up getting was 
It was mental. I rolled a two. So with the children aspiration, since there's only eight, I just rolled a D8. And that's what I got. Okay, Falafel reached movement level five. So now he just needs to finish his potty skill, I think. Guacamole, I think, still has to finish movement and potty. So... I'm going to wake him up and have him go sit on the potty. Or maybe he'll sit on the potty when he wakes up on his own. We'll see. But it is time for uh, Daikon to go to school. It's already 8.30, actually. He'll be late if he doesn't go soon. And then Falafel, I can tell him to get a meal right out of the fridge. I love that. So much easier. Plus, then they're not tempted to eat cake all the time. Alright, Daikon is off to school. And Quinn is feeding Ichigo. Aww, they're so cute! As much as, as annoying as the infant life stage is sometimes, they are so cute. All right, so Quinn, when you're done feeding her, maybe you can do tummy time together. And I think Haggis is a, is a messy eater. Somebody is, because there is food all over the floor. All right, Olivia only needs four more hours to finish her, her aspiration there. And when she's done, I'm going to give her the Lady of the Knits um, aspiration. Since we have all these sheep, it would be good to use them to knit something. And I'm also going to have her uh, clean that gross food off the floor. Oh, that's so cute. So, um, <laughs> I'm just like staring at her, her trying to, to uh, practice... Uh, or do tummy time. <laughs> it's rebate day. I don't know if we'll get anything for rebate day or not. Probably we will because I'm going to need a rocking chair for the, the knitting aspiration. We'll see. I'm trying to get you to crawl, roll over, do something. <laughs> Oh, lifted head, lift head milestone unlocked. Well, that's a good start. Oh, you got a phone call coming in. Um, no, oh, we got royalties. So what have we got? Empathy, conflict resolution, and responsibility. He should fail the test. Learn responsibility. Alright. Ow. Oh, is the maid going to pick up the, the gross food before uh, Olivia gets to it? No, she's picking up the bottles. Okay. And how are the sheep doing, too? We got a red one and a white one there. So Falafel really wants to have a bath. So I think I'll have Olivia give him a bath. It's actually easier to age up the twins, or twins, the toddlers, when they're happy. Um, I just, uh, I can't, oh. Plumbing doesn't work off grid. Okay, then we'll do a tepid bath. Alright, Quinn, can you maybe put Ichigo, pick her up and put her in the, uh, um, on the playmat so she can learn some skills and go to sleep? Okay, put her down. That's, that's not putting her in the playmat. 
Oh, I guess you're changing your diaper. That's okay. But then can we put her in the playmat, please? <laughs> and Falafel, how are you doing? You're just standing there sad. Oh, I think Olivia's coming for you now. Oh, our um, dust level has gone down. Well, we're at 98 hours. I guess we have to write another book. It didn't take long. It only took two hours to write that book. Alright, and Quinn, you need to eat something. So why don't you go eat that slice of cake that's there. And then it is Monday, so we're going to have to pay our bills and check the mail. Our bills are getting up there. They're close to 2,000 simoleons now. Okay, Ichigo, I forgot to tell you to play with your toys. So go play with your toys, and then try to go night-night. Oh, she's really tired. And Guacamole is up now. So Guacamole can go and sit on the potty. And Guacamole has reached movement level 5, so that's good. I knew you just have to walk around a little bit in order to get it. So. We need to age them up. So we need a cake. Pretty sure we have a cake in here. Uh, it says one hour left. So let's. Um, oh, Athalfa's calling. Well, now we can't put our cake down. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to have to close this and, and, and try again. I hate when that happens. It, it just kind of bugs the whatever you have selected that you're holding. So interestingly, this fridge does not have options to upgrade it. It's just the way it is. Okay. Let's open this and see if we can find that cake. There it is. It has candles already. So we'll help Falafel first to bloat his candles. There we go. Oh, I wanted to do the... Um, the literary digest for for that book but it's um not available right now i guess we have to wait a few more days before we can do that you can only do one a week so oh haggis has, has the pincher grasp it looks like and falafel is now a child randomized trait we got bookworm good i like that one. Oh, we need an aspiration too all right so what does he get So let's rolling the dice and I got mind and body, which probably is not a bad one for a uh, for a bookworm because I think you have to get like logic and stuff on that one. Mental skill. All right, so we put more candles on the cake and now I'm going to have Quinn um, help guacamole blow with the candles. Oh, there was a milestone there. Babel milestone unlocked. I missed that. <laughs> I just went through and closed everything and I missed that one. Oh, and the kids are home from work or school? No, not yet. But um, Falafel has homework, so I'm going to send him to do that now. And guacamole. Oh, our cake is spoiled. Well, it lasted long enough for him to blow his candles, so that's good. And we have, an we have more dishes sitting on the fence, too. All right, so we went from silly to gloomy. Aw, that's a 180 switch. And what did he get for an aspiration? Creative.
creative genius. All right. So we're very close with Haggis to having him age up. So I was going to wait until he, until he aged up so I could change all their outfits together. Um, that's why I'm not changing the, the twins right now. Oh, our goat is inside. I must not have locked that door for goats. I thought I had. <laughs> all right. I'll have to try to remember to do that. All right, and I'm going to send Quinn to go jogging. She's pretty close to getting that, that uh, first part of the aspiration. Um, oh, um, oh, Haggis fell asleep. Okay. He, he didn't eat his finger food, so I don't know what happened there. Sometimes I've had that happen before, though. Try to feed them finger foods, and it just doesn't work. All right, Quinn has reached fitness level seven. Actually, she's doing pretty good. I know it's this, this tiny house that makes her gain skills a lot faster, but still. Okay, two more hours. Olivia, can we do something on the computer? Grades are up. <gasps> Grade A student. Yes. And Enchilada got a B. That's good. Oh, I can't ask for gardening help. I was going to see if he could shear more than one sheep at a time, because you can clean, all, to, like, direct him to clean all the sheep. But it doesn't look like you can shear all the sheep at once. Oh, Guacamole acquired the singing skill. So right at this moment, there are four children in this house. <laughs> it's uh, kind of a lot. So I'm going to um, have Daikon play the typing game. And um, so it looks like uh, Enchilada needs to play two games of chess and uh, Falafel needs to gain the, um, is it the mental mental skill I forget what it's called but the one associated with playing chess so so I think they will play chess together as soon as they're both ready so Quinn needs a shower after her workout oh and her sink is clogged at least I think it's a sink yeah, it's definitely the sink. So I'll have Olivia fix it from outside the room so we don't have a backlog of people trying to use the, ba the bathroom there. Did my goat just scream? I think the goat just screamed. <laughs> That's funny. And let's see. Oh, I have fish and banana leaf, so I will have Quinn fi finish that. Cause she's she's kind of hungry. Could it just go jogging for a while? Off the grid house is generating a water surplus. Okay, yeah, because of our splash pad that we made, um, I put a lot of emitters on it. I probably should take some off because it's using up all of our water. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'll put, take like half of them off, so it doesn't need quite as so many emitters. All right, so I have a few things here that I set down. Like there's this chair, um, and I think there's a few things still in our inventory that we could um, put down too that will need to be repaired. But for right now, because we're always out of energy, I'm going to put a couple more wind turbines down. Um, I just couldn't get them placed exactly the same as the other ones for some reason, so I had to move a bunch of them around. I put them all right up on the peak, but the new ones are like lower down into the roof for some reason than the other ones are. I don't know why that is. 
Doesn't really matter though, unless you're looking at it from the bottom of the of the roof. So, because <laughs> you can see them then. Um, so, oh, she's already fixed it. So we've got a, a nice chair actually at the table. It doesn't match the other two as far as style, but it matches that blue one. So, so I might as well have Guacamole play pretend in the treehouse, because uh, that will get part of his aspiration. Chief level three creativity skills that might help with that too i'm not sure and um so i'm gonna have quinn try to feed haggis again i've got that that finger food which i can't see where i'm putting it because there's a wall in the way there i'll just put that on the table somebody else can eat it so let's try finger foods again and then he just needs to learn how to crawl. There. I don't know if that happened last time or not. I was I didn't I hadn't have the screen focused on them, but for some reason he decided to go to sleep and it didn't say that he'd eaten it. So he's unsure about peanut butter puffs. But he should get his milestone this time. There it is. First finger food milestone unlocked. And see. So let's pick him up and we want to try to teach him how to crawl. So what you've got, um, Daikon is currently eating cake. Okay. Then I want to try to, him to try to get a high score on that typing game. And once he does that, then I think we can age him up. Well, we need to have a cake though. Uh, we don't ha currently have a cake, so get the typing game and have somebody make a cake. Oh, and somebody should probably get Haggis out of the high chair. I wonder what happened. Ichigo learned how to laugh. Well, Quinn's just sitting there. Is she going to get Haggis out now? Oh, grab milestone unlocked. That is good. That's really good. So she's hungry. So Quinn is not doing anything at the moment. I'm going to have her look after Ichigo. So we can do the super efficient care right now. Um, I think we'll just have to cancel it. The interactions there with Haggis. Oh, no. Uh, there. Feed Ichigo first. And then we'll deal with Haggis. Oh, Haggis doesn't want to be in the high chair anymore. He's probably tired, actually. He was asleep in the high chair. I prefer if he doesn't fall asleep in the high chair again. So let's get him out. Okay, Quinn. Pick him up. Okay, so the off-the-grid household is generating electricity again. Hopefully this time it stays on. All right, so let's try. Uh, well, let's clean him up first because I think he just has like, oh yeah, he has food all over his face. So I just want him to get him cleaned up. So let's put him down on the floor. And then we can practice crawling. I think only a couple of times. Oh, aspiration completed. Daikon has finished it. That's good. So now, uh, I just got an error message, so it's gone now. So, all right. Um, so what I was going to say is I'm just going to have Daikon uh, look after some of his uh, more urgent needs. I um, don't know whether he'll fall asleep or not, but I need to have somebody make a cake. Oh, uh, Jules and I want to ha have have a little bun in the oven. Okay, so you're going to have a baby. Yay. I don't know who you are because I don't think you're one of my kids. But okay, good for you. All right. Are you going to crawl this time? Doesn't look like it. Uh, he's hungry, though, so I'll feed him. I 
I don't think you can just give him a bottle like you could in like The Sims 2. Just give the the older infants the, a bottle and they could just drink it. But he can sit up. So where are you going? It says he's happy, but hungry and tired. That was a very impressive jump there, Quinn. I could not do that. <laughs> Alright, are you going to feed him or are you just going to stare at him? Oh, our rebate day! Because we bought the windmills, we got our rebate day. So that's good. All right, let's try feeding him. Give him a bottle. Oh, he just peed his diaper and made a mess on the floor. Oh, well, that does happen sometimes. It's not much you can do with the infants. Like, you can't potty train them. All right, so I'm going to have Quinn cook us up a cake. Now, we have a, a blue egg, I think. Yeah, I think it's a blue egg. So, uh, before it goes bad, because our fridge kept turning off, um, I want to make a cake with it. Do something with it anyways. So, let's see if we can use it to make a blue cake. There we are. Blue confetti cake needs a blue egg. And I'm going to have falafel clean up over here. And who are you eating out of my fridge? I don't even know who you are. You just think it's it's good to come in and eat out of somebody else's fridge? I guess technically my fridge is outside and not inside the house. Maybe if I like, put a gate or something, they would stop doing that? I don't know. So, um, and then Falafel, I'm going to send him to bed because he's tired. Quinn looks like she's going to put um, Haggis down on the play mat so he can go to sleep. And Quinn should probably go to sleep too, but maybe after she makes the cake. And there's somebody at the door. Oh, it's Grace. I kind of actually want somebody to greet her. Because she is the other parent of the twins. And I think it would be good for them to meet her. Or, like, get to know her. Be friends with her. And I guess it's having trouble falling asleep here. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, Daikon uh, just passed out. Still trying to make this cake. I'm not sure what's going on here. Just slow, maybe. Okay. And somebody is crying, although it shows both of the infants as being asleep. And Chilada's focused on something. And uh, Daikon really tired but I want him to try to age up I, I would really like for him to be able to go to school tomorrow and maybe just spend one day as a as a teenager I don't know what the cutoff time is though it's 1030 already do I have enough time I don't know maybe I'm already too late maybe it's 10 o'clock Okay, so let's blow out the candles. Oh, usually I usually tell them to make a wish. I completely forgot. I, I, and I clicked on blow out candles instead. So what are we going to get this time? Let's age up. And we're going to add some more birthday candles on. 
So we're already, um, okay, so we're a geek and a goofball. And what are we going to get for an aspiration? Rolling a dice. Oh, animal, friend of the animals. Okay. I guess I only have to roll a dice once on that one. All right, so I'm just going to throw the cake back in the fridge. And he is hysterical right now, so I'm going to see if I can get him to calm down. Try to calm down. Calm down. Those intense emotions are not so good if you're trying to uh, age up. It can mean disaster. And then, since we're already standing at the mirror, I guess we will um, plan our outfit then. Let's plan the outfit. Oh, where are you going? Come back. All right, so I want to try to keep his outfits as close to what they are originally as possible, even his hair and everything. Um... I just kind of want to get things to match a little bit better. He has no socks, and I just think having no socks with pant between pants and shoes is weird. Um, and I have socks there that uh, Olivia knit, but you can't even actually see them with shoes on. So, I'm um, just... Uh, I'm, and I think I'm making his color like a burgundy, like purple or red type of thing. Um... And that eyeshadow does not go with his sleepwear really at all. <laughs> um, so I just was trying to find some outfits that I thought looked nice for the different situations. And he seems to have an aversion to socks, because like none of his outfits had socks. I'm not sure why. So, putting some socks on most of these. Um... I don't know this this top. I could not find pants that that match it. Probably whatever pack it's from that the, they would have pants that match. So did find something though eventually. And then I, I just went okay. There's a corsage in there, so I wanted to get rid of all of that sort of stuff. And I just wanted to change his outfit to something simple. Here we go. Now as for falafel, I like the long hair that we had before, so I put that back on him. And I like his green sweater with a bow tie. I think it's cute. Uh, the winter boots just didn't really match. So I tried to find an outfit for him that I liked. So his colors seem to be kind of a blue and green. So I tend to dress Sims in like, like when I, when I play the Sims, uh, I very much play the Barry Sims. They're all like color coordinated, but it's like by family, not by individuals usually. So like, I'll have a family and their color is yellow and they all wear yellow clothing. Um, and if they don't have yellow hair, then they have yellow accessories in their hair or something like that. So, um, yeah. So anyways, just uh, trying to get uh, nice looking outfits for them. Um, I want to be able to see his hair still, so change the hat to one that still showed his hair. And for guacamole, I thought I'd leave his hair the way it was. I kind of liked it. And I actually really like his outfit, too, with the, the little um, marching band coat that looks like. Um, and his because his outfit was black, I decided to go with embrace the black on him. And he's going to be wearing pretty much all black, I think. or Or like mostly black. So, which is easy because almost every outfit comes with a black swatch. So that's, that's a lot easier to, to figure out than say like purple or orange, which some of those are really hard to find. Um, except for swimsuits, there's actually not very many ch child sized swimsuits that have uh, black swatches. And I thought I'd leave the sunglasses on here for the, the, the hot weather too. And with cold weather, his outfit doesn't look like it's very cold weather to me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I come from a cold climate. If your cold weather outfit is, like, just a light jacket, that's not cold weather. And they all need gloves, too. All right, so we are back. And um, 
I think it's probably a good time for Daikon to go to sleep. Um, and maybe eat something. But it looks like he's heading to the couch to sleep. That's okay for now. Um, I really don't care. That's fine. As long as he sleeps somewhere. We've got a ghost hanging out. And this person who came and started eating out of our fridge is hanging out here. Uh, so I'm going to have uh, Enchilada do his homework. Um, because he's got a B. So it is possible he could get an A tomorrow. And, and, and in that case then I would have two teenagers. We'll see. Um, it's still rebate day. I guess that goes until, was it 1 or 2 a.m.? 2 a.m.? Yeah, so it goes until 2 a.m., so I still have a bit of time, but I don't think, I, I don't think it's going to affect anyone else because they're children when the day started, so it doesn't really affect them. Um, they don't care about the holiday. Because they don't have to pay for anything, so what do they care about getting rebates? <laughs> I don't know who this person is, but they, they're dancing a storm here. Dancing up a storm. Got a couple of ghosts. Um, so there is Enchilada studying. And I, tr <laughs> I was trying to speed this up because he's the only one awake and I accidentally took a picture, but that's okay. So, I think I should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. I don't even know who you are. Our school performance is okay. We got our homework done. Um, so, we've got a few people awake now. I don't know if it was the ghosts that woke people up or what. Um... Everybody's focused, but was that Grace just cry like screaming in terror? <laughs> I don't know. What was that? Okay, rebate day was successful. Oh, and Ichi goes awake now. All right, so Quinn, where is Ichigo? There she is. So Quinn, I want you to come over here and look after Ichigo. We used up the last of its power reserve again. Oh, maybe we need more power. I didn't realize that it would go through it so fast. So, um, Daikon, let's see. Let's get some leftovers and then go to sleep. You're drinking coffee right now. Okay, that'll make you energized, but I actually want you to sleep. And let's see. So, oh, you can um, do your homework to guacamole. Guacamole is scared. Of the ghosts, I think. Um, not something under the bed or anything like that. I think it's the ghosts. So, um, yeah. So if we can get him to was it, eat and sleep, it would be good. I think most of them are, have to eat and sleep. But the homework will be a nice distraction for, uh, for guacamole. Uh, I think I clicked on the wrong thing here. Friendly activities, tummy time together. There we go. Daikon, how are you doing? You are very energized, but it is time to sleep, so let's go ha find a bed. And Guacamole is doing homework, and otherwise it's just Quinn and Ichigo. All right. So Guacamole, when you're done, you can sleep on the top bunk, because then you won't be disturbed by the monster under the bed. Wish I'd known about that sooner. <laughs> I would have always had the children on the top bunk. So how are we doing over here, Quinn? 
I guess when we're done, I'm going to send you jogging so we can get that eight hours of activity. Working out for eight hours. And Ichigo can go back to sleep. And hopefully that works. Okay, I think we're almost done. Roll over onto back milestone unlocked. Good job. Now I just need to get the roll over onto front milestone. Oh, my sheep are thinking of leaving soon. Well, what happened to my farmhand? Because I thought the farmhand was supposed to look after them. Uh, I think we might be having problems here. Oh, we have no food. That's the problem. Uh, so let's refill the feeder. So I guess once we're done jogging, we can refill it. Where are we anyways? Where is Quinn? Very inspired wherever she is. So where did you go, Quinn? Guacamole's homework is complete. That's good. Quinn's way over here. Oh, she's over by the library. Okay. That's not too far away. I should really uh, go to the library sometime. There's a lot of stuff uh, for the Sims to do there. You could plant some plants there too, actually. I have a little communi community garden space. Enchilada has a loose tooth. Okay, so we're back. And Quinn needs to eat something. And, oh, we've got two more talent points. We can get our last one here. All right, well, I'm actually going to end this here for today. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and don't forget to click like. And if you're new here, you can click on the um, click on subscribe and the little bell for notification of new more videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.